Good morning, guys. Welcome. Good morning, welcome guys. Again, we're gonna have a nice flow closing up this week, focusing a lot on our core, but also moving a bit the rest of the body as well. So just get your mat, towel, whatever you need. Welcome already, here we have a one person. And we're gonna start in a second. So welcome guys, if you're just joining right now, take a nice comfortable sitting position. We're gonna start from a nice sitting position. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see me here fully. Perfect. So let's start again. We're gonna go with a nice and long warm up as we usually do, and then go for a couple of sun salutations and finish up at the male main part, focusing a lot on our core, and then go a couple of inversions and of course the meditation at the end. So if you feel that you're ready, just take a comfortable sitting position, cross-legged maybe. But you can also sit with straight leg. However, you can be comfortable and just close your eyes for a moment. First, we will start with three deep breaths. Inhale through the nose and forcefully exhale through the mouth. We can do it together. Inhale through the nose. closed and you can also start your ujjayi breath if you know how to do it or just try to breathe through the nose closed mouth through the rest of the session long deep breathing first try to filling up your stomach then your chest then your face and exhale in the same way In the meantime, you can also start shifting your focus to the room where you're at. Of course, you can keep your eyes closed until the end of the warm up. And then slowly shifting your focus from the room to your body. And now just try to dedicate the next hour or so, focusing only on your body, your breath, your mind, try to observe it, or try to focus on the movements, the breath. Just be really focused on yourself. Be present in the practice. And if you feel that you're ready, you can place both hands next to your hip. And we can go with the inhale, right arm goes up, and exhale down, same on the other side. Exhale down. Now we can place both hands on the knees. First, just continue with some head circles. Exhale when you circle down and go up. Make sure you keep your back straight here. And you can always switch directions, or you can combine them with some wrist circles as well. Hands back to the knees, inhale at the middle, exhale, twist, look behind. 
Inhale, back to the middle, twist. Slowly we can stop at the middle. Now with the inhale, bring the knees up, boat pose. You can bend the knees or extend them if it's too easy. Long deep breathing. And with the next exhale, please both feet and hands on the floor. Inhale, push your hip up. And exhale down. So warming up the core, the back, the lower back, the shoulders. And of course, the higher you go, the more you feel the warm up, the stretch in your shoulders and your glutes, the contraction in your glutes. And on the inhale, we can stay up and exhale, shift forward, warming up the wrists as well. Exhale, sitting down, cross the legs, and just go forward to a tabletop position. And from here, let's do a couple of knee circles. Inhale, when the knee goes up, exhale down. Start slowly and then increase the range of motion. Let's switch to the other side as well. Now both knees back to the floor. With the next inhale, lift up your right leg and the right arm. Try to extend it. Give a nice stretch to the right side of the core. Now with your next inhale, right leg comes up in a straight leg, right leg in as big circle as you can, steps forward. And then now exhale, pushing the hip forward and back. Just play with this, move the hip back and forth, moving up the hip, the hamstrings. And if you want the more intense version, you can also tuck the left toes, lift up the hip. Arms up with the inhale, exhale forward. Inhale, hip go close to the ground and arm reaches up and back. And with the next exhale, both knees back to the floor, stepping back to tabletop. And now we're going to go for the other side. Inhale, left arm and left leg extends. And the next inhale, left leg circles forward, wide step. And then first, just move your head back and forth. If you want to get a more intense version, tuck the right toes, left arm to the left toes, and inhale, arm up, exhale, reaching forward. Now with the next exhale, step down, both knees back to the floor, tuck the toes, one inhale, and with the next exhale, push the hip up to a downward dog, and then start pedaling the heels, one by one, long deep breathing, try to suck the belly button in, legs and arms about hip width apart, 
and receive warming of the cows, the hamstrings. Your next inhale, step or jump forward, head of chest up halfway. Exhale, fold forward, hang here, you can go sideways, or you can also connect the fingers behind your back and try to extend the arms. Give a nice stretch to your shoulders as well. Now slowly with the inhale, always coming upward the break, backward the break, until you end up in a standing tall spot. Now we will continue with a couple of sun salutation A and B. Let's start with A, standing top of the mat, tall, active core, glutes. And we're going to go first a bit slower and then speed up. So first inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, erect the spine. Exhale, fold, step back to high plank, hold it here. Knees on the floor, it's always an option if it's too hard. Otherwise, pushing the floor away. Active glutes, use the tip of the fingers as well. We're going to go for Chaturanga, so first exhale, shift forward and then down. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, up dog. Exhale, downward dog for five. Let's go pedal the heels. Just explore this position. And with the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, falls forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, Sanasthiti. Next one, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, erect the spine. Exhale, fold, step back to high plane and Chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, or up dog. And exhale, downward dog for five. With the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, Sanasthiti. Last one. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up. Exhale, step back to high plank and Chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up. Cobra or up dog, and exhale, downward dog for five. And with the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, fold forward, inhale, arms up. And exhale, Sanasthiti. Nice. Uh, sun salutation B, two of those. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, erect the spine. Exhale, step back to high plank and Chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, up dog. And exhale, downward dog for two deep breaths. And with the next inhale, right leg steps forward, warrior one. Try to keep the left heel on the floor. The right knee doesn't go over the right foot. Squaring the hip. And with the next exhale, fold forward, chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, up, down. 
and exhale. Downward dog for two. And the next inhale, left leg comes forward, warrior one. Belly button in, arms up for two deep breath. And with the exhale, fold forward, high plank in Chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward dog for two. And with the next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, fold forward, inhale, chair pose. And exhale, standing tall. Good one. Now the last one. So we go inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, erect the spine. Exhale, fold, step back to high plank, hand chuck lunge. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, rock dog. And exhale, downward dog for two. And with the next inhale, right leg comes forward, warrior one. And the next exhale, falls forward, chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, up dog. And exhale, downward dog for two. And the next inhale, step forward, warrior one on the left. And exhale, falls forward, chaturanga. Inhale, head up, chest up, cobra, up dog. And exhale, downward dog for two deep breaths. And with your next inhale, step or jump forward, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, falls forward. Inhale, chair pose. And exhale, stand Good job, guys. Hopefully you're sweating already. Now we're gonna go for the main part for the next 20 minutes or so. So we will start at the top of the mat, standing tall, legs together, active core, glutes. Imagine that there's a string pulling you up. You can cross your arms in front of your chest, long deep breathing. Inhale, arm goes up to a chair pose. Hold the chair pose for two breaths. And then with the next exhale, arms together, left elbow on the right knee. Give a twist in the chair pose, looking up. From here, we're going to go inhale, coming up, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, erect the spine. Exhale, fold, step back to high plank and just hold the high plank here. Knees on the floor will be always an option. Otherwise, with the inhale, we're going to lift up the right leg slightly from the ground. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. And to the left elbow. And just make it switch between the two. Five each. Long deep breathing in the meantime. And whenever you're ready, inhale, right leg goes up to a three legged dog. 
and exhale, coming down, right leg points to the left, and just give a nice stretch to your hip here. If you want, you can also power up the left arm with the inhale. And if you want an extra version, even you can do a couple of push-ups here. Let's do two or three, like you would do two or three breaths. Nice job. If you finish, you can lift up the left arm, or you can keep it on the floor. And now with the next inhale, the left leg flies up, left knee to the left armpit. Couple of long deep breaths. And now with the next exhale, left leg steps down, points to the right side of the mat. And with the inhale coming up, floating up to warrior three. Of course, if it's too easy, you can always extend your arms. And inhale coming up with the right knee. Exhale, stepping down, wide step, facing to the right side of your mat. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, sitting back with the hip and folding forward until you can keep your back straight. So rather stay here with straight back, then bending, arching your back. Staying here for five. Thumbs up. And with the exhale, fold forward, connect the fingers behind your back, extend the arms, and then keep folding. And inhale, head up, chest up halfway, both hands on the floor, and just start walking towards your head to a high plank, holding the high plank here. Easiest option if you just hold the plank, you can also put the knees down if it's too hard. Otherwise, with the next inhale, right arm goes up and exhale, reach into the left ankle. Inhale, arm up, exhale, reach to the left ankle. Let's do two more. Now switch to the other side, inhale, left arm goes up, exhale, reach to the right ankle. If you cannot touch your ankle, just go for the shin or knee, also perfectly fine. Five on this side as well. So you can drive the hip high up with the movement. Nice, good job. Whenever you finish, just holding the plank here, pushing the floor away, and slowly walking back towards your leg now. Inhale, arm goes up again. And the exhale, left leg turns towards the front of the mat, arms down. Bend the left knee, warrior two. Staying at the middle, opening the hip, hip and legs are in one line. Find a focus point over your middle finger. And exhale, reaching forward, side angle pose, left elbow and the left knee, twisting up. Or you can also go for the floor. Feel free to open more space between the legs if you can bring the hip closer to the ground. And the right arm goes up. And with the next inhale, arm windmills up. Extend the legs and exhale now. Reverse side angle pose. So the back leg 45 degrees. Arms together, right elbow to the left knee with the exhale. And looking up. Mm. 
And you can also place, try to place the right arm at the outside of the left leg. And then on the left arm reaching up. And with the exhale, turning back to the middle, inhale, arms flies up again, arm twist towards the back of the mat, and exhale, warrior two, find the focus point over your right foot, right arm now. And with the exhale, windmill the arms down, but keep bringing the left leg up. Chest towards the floor, left leg high up. Long deep breathing here, good job. And inhale, stepping down, coming up halfway with the chest. Exhale, grab the big toes and start pulling your chest towards the floor. And inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, fold one more time. And inhale, slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, coming up. Nice standing position. Now we repeat the same, just the other side. So if you're ready, we are going to go inhale, chair pose. Hold it for one or two breaths. And now with the exhale, arms together, right elbow on the left knee, twist in the chair. And inhale, arm goes up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, chest up, halfway. Exhale, full step back to high plank and just hold the high plank for a moment here. Now, if you feel comfortable with that, with the inhale, lift the left leg up slightly. Exhale, left knee to left elbow <coughs> and the right elbow. Five touches on each side. Keep up the long deep breathing. And if you did the five touches, inhale, left leg slides up to a three-legged dog. And exhale, coming down, left leg points to the right side. Hold it here. Option B, right arm flies up. Or do a couple of push-ups here. You can always place this knee on the floor, and then it's much easier. And if you did a couple, just stay in this position. Right arm flies up, and with the inhale, right knee to the right armpit. Hold it for three. And with the next exhale, right leg steps down, facing the left side of the back. And inhale, flying up to warrior three. Three deep breath. And as we inhale, coming up with the left knee. Exhale, wide step down. Facing still the left side of the mat. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hip back. Chest parallel to the ground for five. And the next exhale, fold forward. And you can also connect your fingers, extend the arms, and just keep folding, give a nice stretch to the shoulders as well. And inhale, chest up, uncross the fingers, and slowly start walking on your arms. 
and we end up here, high plank, just hold it, or the two options, inhale, arm goes up, and exhale, touching the ankle, five on each side, it's too hard, again, you can place your knee on the floor, and then try it that way, five on each side, good job, come on, If you're done, hold the high plank here and just start walking back towards the mat. And whenever you reach here, inhale, arm goes up. And exhale now, the right leg goes towards the back of the mat, arms down. Warrior two, find the focus point above your right middle finger. Hip is in one line as your legs. And with the next exhale, shifting forward, arms together, right elbow on the right knee, twisting up, or you can reach for the floor with the right leg, get close to the ground. Again, feel free to open more space between your legs. And inhale, the arms will wing you up again. And now exhale, both arms together, left elbow to the left knee, back like 45 degrees, reverse side angle. And again, you can try to place the left arm on the outside of the right leg. With the exhale, turning back down, coming up halfway with the chest, and inhale, floating up, left leg flies up high. And then exhale, stepping down, inhale, coming back, windmill the arms back up, turning back to the front, warrior two. Long deep breathing. And inhale, arms up, coming up with both legs, bend the right leg, and then just stepping back to the front of the mat. Long deep breathing for a moment, slow your breath for a second. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. We're going to do another hamstring stretch. So grab your big toes, shin, ankle, and then just start pulling your chest towards the floor. Inhale, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, fold, pull one more time, one or two deep breath here. And inhale, head up, chest up halfway. Exhale, try to sit down on your heels, arms up. And the next exhale, if you need to, use your arms on the floor, just roll down. The sitting position, come to both palms for five. Now imagine that you're having something in your hand and you're packing it one side to the other, kind of the Russian twist, five on each side. Keep up the long deep breathing. Good 
good job, keep working, not much left. And now we can stop at the middle with the exhale, roll down on your back, relax coming up, open the arms on the floor, and now through five breaths, bring both legs to one side. Easy if you bend your knees, or if you keep them up. So you use really the five breath very slowly to bring the legs down. And try the abs. You can feel the work in your core, especially the obliques, the side. If you bring it to the floor, try to give a nice stretch to that. You can maybe even try to grab your big toe. Keep both shoulders on the floor. And now, same thing back. Five breaths to go back. If it's too hard, again, just bend your knees and use this motion. Five breaths to bring the legs back to the middle. Really use your arms. And good job. This is a hard one, I know. Same on the other side. We have five breaths to bring both legs down to the floor. And if it's down, maybe you can try to grab your big toes. Keep both shoulders on the ground, give a nice stretch to your core. And again, same thing, we have five breaths to bring them up. Just bend your knees if it's too hard, otherwise use now the right arm. Five breaths. Slowly, nice job. And now with the next exhale, place both legs down, coming up, rolling up. Place both hands next to your hip and inhale, coming up with the hip to reverse tabletop as high as you can, squeezing the glutes. And exhale, coming down, really try to bring the hip between your legs and then lift up the hip here. Three more. one and just sit back here straight legs open your legs widely let's say as much as you feel comfortable with you can do the wild thing both sides five on each side when you're ready inhale right on down left arm reaches back really push the hip high do it in your own pace exhale down inhale same with the opposite side four more each side Good job, guys. And exhale down. Whenever you finish both sides, coming up to the middle, inhale both arms up. And exhale, fold forward. Make sure you have active quadriceps bringing up the kneecaps.
and inhale coming back up now bend the right knee the upper leg still faces the same way and now try to twist and roll on your leg almost like a pigeon pose here but more focusing on the core and the hip And inhale back to the middle, extend the leg, switch to the other side, and exhale now, roll to your left leg. And inhale, coming back to the middle, cross your legs, roll to a tabletop position, snapping back a bit, find it nice comfortable tabletop and just sit back on your heels fingertips on the floor chest towards the floor lifting up the arms give a nice stretch to the shoulders the upper back and inhale coming up to tabletop again step forward now with the right leg and then just start opening the right leg towards the outside. And if you want, harder option, just grab the left ankle with the right arm behind. And then release the left. Now try to bring the right leg across here in front. And then pigeon pose, sitting down on your the right leg and then you can lay down as well that's more comfortable and then inhale chest up top the left toes step back to high plank and now knees on the floor one more time chest towards the floor fingertips on the floor as well and bring the chest closer to the ground and inhale coming up with your chest stepping forward down with the left leg open the left leg to the side and if you want you can grab the right ankle behind And now exhale, bring the left leg across, pigeon on your left leg now. Good job, you can feel a nice stretch on your glutes and the hip. with your chest, tuck the toe, and exhale, stepping back to high plank, and go up to downward dog one more time. And now we go to the last part again, the inversions. Now it's more comfortable to go handstand. Measure your arms, forearms on the floor, then open it, head on the floor, going up, or you can go to shoulder stand. If you're more comfortable with that and stand from here shoulder stand just go on your back sit down and going up towards the ceiling 10 breath there or 10 breath in your head stand And with your next couple exhales, slowly come down to the ground from headstand, staying in child's pose for five breaths, and from shoulder stand, 
going to fish bowl slowly laying down on your back and with the inhale chest up tuck the head the crown of your head under your shoulders and if it's too easy arms together facing the ceiling or maybe even legs side breath And exhale, slaying down on your back. Good job, guys. It was an intense session. It's already quite warm here, but I hope you were sweating as well. So now just find a comfortable spot on your back. Lay down on your back for the final relaxation. So just lay down on your back, open your arms, your legs, find a comfortable spot and close your eyes for a moment. And just try to bring your attention to the room again where you're in. And slowly to your body, starting at the right big toe. You can move your right big toe, just find a comfortable spot for that part of your body, and then just relax your right big toe. And slowly shift your focus to the other toes on your right leg. You feel that they are Completely relaxed as well. Go for the right foot, the right ankle. The right shin, the right calf. And slowly just advance up on your right leg. Relaxing it from the bottom. And then up towards the right knee. Relaxing the right thigh quadriceps, the inner thigh, the hamstring. And then slowly shifting now to the left leg, the left big toe first. <clears throat> of course, you don't have to do your ujjayi breath anymore. Just breathe completely normally, completely comfortably. To focus only gently on your toes on the left leg now. Try to find a comfortable position for them and relax them. And then go on your left calf, your left shin, going slowly up on your left leg, relaxing the left ankle as well. Slowly to the left knee and up to the left thigh, the quadriceps, the hamstring, the inner thigh. And then gently up towards your hip, your hip flexors, your glutes. And slowly your core, your abs, your obliques. And relaxing your lower back. And slowly coming to the upper body, chest, the back. And now gently switching to the right arm, starting with the fingers and your right arm. You can move them, find a comfortable position for them. I'm just trying to relax your right palm, your right wrist now. And your 
right forearm, the right elbow. The right upper arm slowly. And then gently now switching to the left fingers. Slowly to the palm, the wrist, and the left hand. Left arm. And gently now find a comfortable spot for your left forearm, left elbow. And also to the left upper arm, left shoulder. And slowly coming up to the top of your back, the shoulders. Try to relax both of them, finding a comfortable position on the ground. And slowly going up to your neck, the back of your head. Try to the side, the ears, the top of your head. And finally, try to relax your face, your chin, your mouth, your nose, your forehead. And slowly, last but not least, your eyes. And you can just enjoy this comfortable feeling after the hard work that you've done the past hour. And you can also just slowly, gently shift your attention to your breath. You don't have to do anything with your breath. It doesn't have to be longer, shorter, deeper, more forceful. Just really try to observe your breath. By breathing comfortably through your mouth or through your nose or both, it's up to you. If your mind starts wandering, you start thinking about something else, don't worry about that. That's completely natural. Just stay breathing. Move your breath. Move your focus back to your breath. If it happens again, just do it again. And we're going to stay with this in the next minute or so. Focusing on our breath. We're just enjoying this relaxed feeling. Very slowly, if you feel that you're ready, just keep your eyes closed until the end. Now you can bend your knees, plant both feet on the floor, and just roll to your right side, use your right arm as a pillow, and still relax on your right side for a moment.
If you feel that you are ready now, you can use your left arm to push yourself up to a sitting position. And just try to find a comfortable sitting position. Cross leg, straight leg, whatever you feel is comfortable for you this morning. Closed eyes. You can also bring your arms in front of your chest. And just think about three things that you're grateful for today. Slowly, gently rub your palms together, create some heat. Cover your face with your palm and you can give a slow massage to your face, your forehead, your temple, your eyes. And gently, slowly remove your hands and you can open your eyes. Thank you very much, Yogis, for practicing with me this morning. Hope you enjoyed it and you will have a nice weekend. Thank you again. Namaste. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope it was a nice close for the weekend, for the week for you, and prepared for the weekend. Hopefully you can enjoy it and you will have nice weather. Go outside, stay healthy. Thank you guys.